Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia News Line and here the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday the 24th of November. Pakistan sending retired soldiers to carry out terror attacks, says Indian Army official. Afghan embassy in India shuts down citing lack of support, Taliban pressure. And Nepali TikTok community in shambles after government bans app. And now for all the details. In the absence of any local recruits, Pakistan is trying to infiltrate foreign-based terrorists in India's Jammu and Kashmir territory. Indian Army's Northern Command Chief, Lieutenant General Upendra Devedi, said on Friday. General Devedi, responding to a media query, said, based on identification of terrorists neutralized in the past months, it was found some of them were former soldiers of the Pakistan's military. The remarks came a day after two terrorists, including a top Lashkar operative, were eliminated in a joint operation by security forces in Rajori district of Jammu and Kashmir. Five Indian Army officials identified as Captain M. V. Pranjal, Captain Shubham Gupta, Havaldar Abdul Majid, Lance Naik, Sanjay Bisht, and paratroopers Sachin Lore were also killed in action during the gunfight. देखिए कुछ के जब हमने पहचान करने की कोशिश की तो कुछ ऐसे हमें मिले कि वो रिटायर्ड फौजी थे जहां तक यहां पर जो अभी ऑपरेशंस चल रहे हैं पाकिस्तान की कोशिश होती है क्योंकि यहां पर लोकल रिक्रूट्स नहीं हैं और वो फॉरेन टेररिस्ट लाके यहां पे कार्रवाई करना चाहते हैं तो इसलिए हमारी कोशिश यही है कि जितने भी फॉरेन टेररिस्ट हैं उनका खात्मा खत्म कर उनको खत्म कर जब वही का मतलब मैं फौज में भर्ती हूं और कमांडो बनूंगा और जब देखो कैसे ना मारे कैसे हमारे जो आनंद ने मारे हम शहीद करे करेंगे अब वो परसों यही बात हुई कि पापा घेरा मकान में घेरा दे रहा क्यों उनको और तो मतलब सिल्ट के दौर रह रहे ने सिल्ट आके जब यांगों में भी and in a major development, a Qatar court has accepted the appeal of the Indian government opposing the death penalties given to eight former Indian Navy personnel last month for alleged espionage, sources have revealed. The Navy veterans were reportedly employed by a company based in the Middle Eastern nation and their bail pleas were rejected several times. Earlier, India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar described the ruling as deeply shocking. He also met the family members of the veterans and assured them full government support. All the former Navy officers have a distinguished service record of up to 20 years and have held important positions, including that of instructors in the force. Moving on, thousands of Pakistani school children rallied on Thursday in capital Islamabad to show their support for Palestinians amid the Israel-Hamas conflict. Attendees held up signs and chanted pro-Palestinian slogans. Sirajul Haq, the chief of Pakistan's largest Islamist political party, which organized the protest, called for a total boycott of Israeli-made goods. <laughs> कोई इस्राइली मैक और यहूदी और सहूनी मैक चीज हमारे घरों में न आए हम मुकम्मल बाइकाट का ऐलान करते हैं हर उस चीज से जिसका फायदा नफा का फायदा इस्राइल को पहुंच रहा हो आप में बाइकाट कर रहा है आप पहरा देंगे and in the latest, there were no major reports of bombings or artillery strikes as Israel and Hamas commenced a four-day ceasefire in Gaza on Friday, the first pause in the 40-day-old war. The truce involves release of 13 Israeli hostages and aid flow into the besieged territory. A number of Palestinian prisoners were to be also freed in exchange. Moving on, residents of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir have expressed anguish over the issue of frequent load shedding and hefty power bills that have continued to affect their normal lives. A report. Unscheduled and prolonged power outages have continued to ink the residents of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir and inflated electricity bills have added to their woes. Locals say it is ironic that even after generating thousands of megawatts electricity in the region, Pakistan makes them suffer. 
they blame that it is injustice that they are not given any sort of subsidy on electricity. 2500 से 3000 मेगावाट के दरमियान जो है लाइट की हमें वो भी नहीं दी जाती जो दी जाती है वो भी पहले पाकिस्तान में जाती है पाकिस्तान से हमें कुछ जो है बिजली एज यानी भीख के तौर पे दी जाती है और बहुत से जो है हमारे पावर स्टेशंस लेकिन क्या है हमें फिर भी लोड शेडिंग का सामना करना पड़ता है जिससे हमारी पढ़ाई बहुत मुतासर होती है हम जो है फ्रीलांसिंग नहीं कर सकते यहां पे इंटरनेट की भी जो है सर्विसेज नहीं दी जा रही there have been several protests over unfair taxes and soaring inflation in recent days, but all in vain. Residents of the occupied region accuse Pakistan government only gives assurances to them with no regard to their repeated pleas. An Afghanistan embassy on Friday permanently shut down its embassy as diplomats appointed by the Afghan government ousted by the Taliban two years ago failed to secure visa extensions from their Indian host. In a post on X, the embassy said that pressure from both the Indian government and the Taliban had forced the decision. The embassy suspended operations in September when the ambassador and senior staff left for Europe and the US to seek asylum. India does not recognize the Taliban government which seized power in 2021 and had allowed Ambassador Farid Mamunze and mission staff to stay in place, issuing visas and handling trade matters. While well, moving on, police in Nepal on Thursday used a rotten sticks, tear gas and water cannon to scatter thousands of protesters demanding the restoration of the monarchy abolished 15 years ago. The citizens' campaign protesters say governments in place since the monarchy was scrapped as part of a deal ending a Maoist insurgency have failed to live up to commitments to develop one of the world's poorest countries. During the clash, some police officers were also reportedly injured by stones thrown by the protesters. Uh, you बर्गीय मान्छेलाई ए के भन्छ सर्वसाधारण तरिकाले मिलेर काम गरौ यो देशमा देश बचाउ धर्म बचाउ भन्ने आन्दोलनका साथ हामी यहाँ आज उपस्थित well, political instability has afflicted Nepal since the end of the 239-year-old monarchy in 2008, with over 10 changes of government, hobbling economic development and forcing millions of young people to seek work abroad. Meanwhile, following the government ban on popular video platform TikTok, many in Nepal for whom the app acted as a source of income are worried over the loss as work is in shambles. They say the ban not only deprives people of a source of recreation, but also takes away a forum for free speech. Nepali content creator Manjita Manandhar was caught off guard when the government banned the popular social media platform TikTok in the Himalayan nation last week for disturbing social harmony and goodwill. Manandhar, who was among the many Nepali content creators for whom the video platform acted as a source of income, says her business has halved since the ban. Scores of people in capital Kathmandu have also held protests to demand the government to revoke the ban, while others filed petitions against it at the Supreme Court, citing that the ban on TikTok has shut down a forum for free speech. Two days back, TikTok ban boy again. Our business the pure half boy and the na. Subbe Instagram or TikTok soche ra, maile thay abar aani income soche ra, maile invest kare ra scale up kare ko. अनि मैले त्यही अनुसार एक महिना अगाडि देखि नै क्लायन्टहरुलाई चाहिँ यो प्रमिस गरिसकेको हुन्छु कि यो टाइममा चाहिँ तपाईहरुको पोस्ट आउँछ यहाँ यहाँ पोस्ट हुन्छ भनेर त्यही अनुसारको प्रमिस भइसकेको हुन्छ त्यही अनुसारको प्लानिङ भइसकेको हुन्छ जुन सबै नै डामाडोल भयो के अब अब क्लायन्टलाई के आन्सर दिने नेपाल इज द लेटेस्ट टु ब्यान टिकटक व्हिच इज ओन्ड बाइ चाइना बेस्ड बाइट डान्स अथोरिटीज हैव क्लेम्ड मोर देन 1600 साइबर क्राइम्स रिलेटेड टु टिकटक have been registered in Nepal. Several countries, including India, have also raised concerns over the app's proximity to the Chinese government and its hold over user data across the world. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night.
Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.